To change the color of a specific object in Photoshop, there's two different ways of doing it. The first way is with layers and the second way is to do it with masks. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to do it with layers and I will make another video showing you how to do it with masks. I'm still quite new to masks, but I do know the basics of it. So I will show you how to do it that way as well. Personally, I like to do it with layers because I feel like you have more control of the layer and pretty much changing the color. It just makes it a lot easier for me and I guess it will make it easier for you as well. Masks is sort of more of a advanced feature in my opinion and layers are a lot easier to get your head around. Once you've got your image imported by going to file and open or just dragging it into Photoshop, you'll notice that it says background and when it says background, it will have a little lock next to it. What you want to do is you want to either double click on this little icon or just drag it down to the bottom of this little bin icon. The reason why you want to do this is because when it says background and it has a lock, it stops you from doing anything. It pretty much doesn't let you edit it. So if you double click on it and now you will see that it's changed to layer zero. This means that it is now a layer and I can do anything I want with this layer. To start changing the color of the object, which in this case for me it is the color of the bird, I will want to go and pick a tool which will let me select the color. Most people will prefer the quick select tool, which is here. If you don't see it selected, then you right click and it will be quick selection tool. The reason why most people choose this one is because you can quickly go around the image and this will let the computer pretty much guess the bits that you want him to select, meaning that you don't have to manually do it yourself. Since the image that I am working on isn't too advanced or too difficult to select, I'm going to go with the quick select tool. But if you want to be very accurate with it, I would suggest the pen tool, which is right here. And this one is a lot more accurate because you select every single point. Another tool that is similar to the pen tool is this one up here and it is that one right there. This one is like the pen tool, but it will just keep on creating lines until you get back to the first point. With the quick select tool, there's two things you need to know about it and that is you have plus and minus. Plus will select the area and minus will deselect it. So as you can see here, this bit we want to deselect and we don't want that bit selected. With this bit here, we want to go to the plus and select that bit but if it does that then you want to keep on doing it until you're happy with it so i think that's okay and i will do a little bit of the feathers here but sometimes it will go wrong and you just have to keep on trying until you eventually are happy with it Once you've selected the color you want to change and you are happy with it, you want to go to this icon down here and click on it. This will create you a new layer. Okay, so now that I've selected the bits I want to change the color of and I'm happy with the selection, I will go to the left side of the screen where all the tools are and go to the bucket tool. If you don't see the bucket tool, then right click and it should be in here. What the bucket tool does is it just fills in this selected area. If you go down to here and pick a color, I'm going to go with a blue. Try and make yours with more of a darker color. If you go with a bright color, it will look a bit unrealistic. So the darker, the more realistic, pretty much. That's the main key. We are aiming to make the image look like it's actually that color. So for me, as you can see, I've gone slightly further down to a darker blue. Press OK. And now all you do is just left click and that will pretty much fill in this area. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to this rectangle here and then just click anywhere on the screen. And what this does is that it will deselect the selection you made. As you can see from the image right now, it's not looking very good. So what we want to do is we want to go to here where you have all the effects for the layers and go down to the one that says hue. What that does is that it will make the color actually blend in and match the image. Now, if you're looking for a more brighter color, or effect then go with color down here this will usually make it a lot more brighter it all depends on your image but hue and color is the best two options to use 
As you can see, since we use the quick select tool, we still have some bits that still have the original color. And what we want to do is want to go to the brush tool, which is here. If it's not there, right click and it will be this one right here. And now all you do is go to color, get the same color used before. It should already be in here. But if it's not, then try and find it again. And all you do is just go around the bits that the quick selection tool didn't pick up. One great thing about this effect called hue is that it doesn't affect black. So you can see this color here, I could paint as much as I like, but it's not going to affect it that much. Keep going around it until you selected all the color. Now there's one more problem with this image right now and that is the eye. So if we go to the eraser tool, we hold in alt and use the scroll wheel to go up. To zoom in, we will make a smaller size for the razor tool and then click on, make sure you are on the layer that you created the color and delete the bits that you don't actually need. But anyway, that's been my video on how to change the color of an object. If you'd like to see part two, which is the masks, then click a link in the description or on the screen. It is pretty similar, but it's done in a different way because of the masks. If this video was helpful, let's see if we can reach 50 likes. That would be great. Leave a comment if you thought it was a good video or useful. And I will see you in the next video.